Hi, this is Julieta Yang Orfiano. Welcome to my video. If this is your first time on my channel, please like, share, and subscribe so I can notify you if I have a new video. This is the continuation of part 8 about intangible assets. I discuss in part 8 about computer software. Just click above or the link below this video to watch part 8. In this video, I am going to discuss about goodwill. Goodwill. A unique asset presented in the financial statements is goodwill. It had been traditionally included among the intangible assets although it does not possess the characteristic of being identifiable. To distinguish it from identifiable intangible assets, it is more appropriate to provide a separate line presentation for goodwill. Goodwill is usually inherent in a continuing business and is identified with the entity as a whole. Goodwill results from several factors such as high employee morale, superior management team, advantageous geographical location, effective promotions, quality products, and other factors that contribute to higher earnings for the enterprise. An internally generated goodwill should, shall not be recognized as an asset because it is not an identifiable resource that is separable nor does it arise from contractual or other legal rights. Goodwill, however, is recognized in the accounts if acquired by purchase. This takes place when an entire business is acquired another entity for an amount that is greater than the fair market value of the net identifiable assets acquired. This excess payment is recorded in the books as goodwill. Further cost of developing, maintaining, and, and restoring goodwill are expense as incurred, ordinarily because goodwill is unidentifiable, it cannot be disposed of apart from the enterprise as a whole. Based on IFRS number 3, business combinations, goodwill acquired in a purchase business combination shall not be amortized. Instead, the acquirer shall test it for impairment annually or more frequently if events or changes in circumstances indicate that it might be impaired. Once impairment loss is recognized for goodwill, the loss taken up is not allowed to be reversed in a subsequent period. To illustrate goodwill acquired in a, in a business combination, assume the following data for ABC Company. Receivables Carrying value is 500,000 pesos. Fair value is 400,000 pesos. Inventory Carrying value is 1 million pesos. Fair value is 1,200,000 pesos. Property, plant, and equipment Carrying value is 5 million pesos. Fair value is 6,200,000 pesos. Patents. Carrying value is 700,000 pesos. Fair value is 500,000 pesos. The total assets. Carrying value is 7,200,000 pesos. Fair value is 8,300,000 pesos. Current liabilities. Carrying value. 800,000 pesos, fair value, 800,000 pesos. Non-current liabilities, carrying value, 3,500,000 pesos, fair value, 3,900,000 pesos. The total liabilities, carrying value is 4,300,000 pesos, fair value, 4,700,000 pesos. Net assets, Carrying value is 2,900,000 pesos. Fair value is 3,600,000 pesos. On this date, DEF Corporation acquired the net assets 
of ABC Company in exchange for 4 million in cash. DEF Corporation records the acquisition as follows. Debit receivables, 400,000 pesos. Debit inventory, 1,200,000 pesos. Debit property plant and equipment, 6,200,000 pesos. Debit patents, 500,000 pesos. Debit goodwill, 400,000 pesos. Credit current liabilities, 800,000 pesos. Credit non-current liabilities, 3,900,000 pesos. Credit cash, 4 million pesos. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something from this video. I did part 10 and continuation of this video wherein I discussed in part 10 about the recognition of intangible assets and disclosure requirements. Just click above or the link below this video to watch part 10. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my channel so I can notify you if I have a new video. Once again, this is Julieta Yang Orfiano. See you on my next video.